The design of the TF21 Borama is quite interesting. It is out of your mind. The jet, which was developed by South Korea with Indonesia, adopts a large number of stealth designs. Its small body means it does not have a designed internal magazine. Not only that, the weapons and equipment carry were installed in the half-buried stomach and under the wings. It also lacks stealth combat capabilities. Even so, the shape of the TF-21 aircraft will be very similar to the US F-22 Raptor. It adopts double vertical tail and double discharge bureau. Then, the air inlet is located under the extension surface of the front edge of the wing and adopts S-shaped structure. The main wing and horizontal tail are trapezoidal in shape with small aspect ratio. The airfoil and nose adopt diamond-shaped design with better stealth ability. It took 20 years for South Korea to finally fulfill its dream of developing its own advanced fighter jet. On the afternoon of the 19th July, the prototype of the TF-21 fighter developed by Korea Aerospace Industries successfully flew for the first time. This fighter looks like the F-22, but it is not a very advanced stealth fighter. The fighter jet, however, may have some gains in the export market and even give a good fight to the Russian Su-57 and China's FC-31 Falcon. The biggest difference between this aircraft and fifth-generation aircraft is the magazineless design. There are six external underwing hardpoints, four belly-buried external hardpoints, and two fuselage side sensor external hardpoints. After installing the weapons and equipment, the radar reflecting surface of the fuselage is greatly improved. The TF-21 fighter is equipped with two turbofan engines from the United States General Electric Company with a maximum design speed of Mach 1.8. Although it lacks high speed and supersonic cruising capability, it is sufficient to support its diverse missions. The shape of the TF-21 is very similar to the American Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The trapezoidal vertical tail and the swept double slope supersonic is exactly the same as that of the Chinese G-35 Falcon Eagle Fighter. The first technology demonstrator is also very similar. Technically, Korea Aerospace Industries got help from Lockheed Martin in developing this aircraft, and the T-50 or FA-50 Golden Eagle light fighter developed by the company was also developed by help from Lockheed Martin. Even as a close ally of the United States in Northeast Asia, Lockheed Martin denied to transfer key fifth-generation aircraft technologies to South Korea. The close-up photos of KF-21 show that its radome, various maintenance covers, landing gear hatches, engine nozzles, and the fuselage connection are all designed without sawtooth. This detail is the stealth fighter radar stealth technology. The essence of beam control is that it can greatly disrupt the enemy's radar beam. In addition, how to free up the space of the internal bomb bay while meeting the overall aerodynamic shape of the aircraft and the layout of the internal fuel tank opening and closing during flight is also one of the difficulties in the designing of stealth fighters. Lockheed Martin had previously refused to transfer four key technologies, including stealth technology, advanced electronic warfare system, active phased array airborne fire control radar, and forward-looking infrared system. To Korea Aerospace Industries and South Korea could only seek help from Europe and Israel. The latter technologies can also be obtained. Stealth technology, Europe and Israel have not independently developed stealth fighters. After all, the United States does not want the KF-21 to become a formidable enemy of the F-35. Even if the stealth technology is not enough, the KF-21 is still a 4.5 generation fighter in the true sense. After the 2.0 and 3.0 versions, it can break through the path of the fifth generation aircrafts active phased array radars of Israeli origin, airborne weapon systems of European origin, such as Meteor air-to-air -air missiles or Taurus stealth air-to-ground missiles, and two F-414 medium thrust turbofan engines provided by the United States. The technical level is still in the mainstream of the fourth-generation fighter.